So I'm gonna talk you through how to properly do a squat. There's a million different ways of doing a squat. I'm just gonna show you the basic body weight squat, meaning you don't have any weight that you're working with except yourself. Now as you get stronger, you might wanna progress, holding a medicine ball, holding a weight, or even holding your kid, anything that's gonna add weight to your legs. This is predominantly a lower based exercise. So you're gonna focus on your quadricep muscle groups, your glutes, your hamstrings, your whole posterior chain, basically all the muscles of the lower body are going to be working in this exercise. You wanna start with your feet, probably about shoulder width apart. If you're more comfortable a little wider or even externally rotating your feet a bit, just find a place that's comfortable for your hips and make sure that your knees always track. A good rule of thumb is to think about your knees going right in between your big toe and your second toe. So when you're doing the squat, just watch out that your knees are not adducting and collapsing in or abducting and going out. We wanna try to maintain the knee in a neutral position. The wider you are too, the easier it's gonna be to balance. So if you have stability issues, start wide. If you wanna challenge the stability, then you bring your legs a little closer together and challenge your core muscles by challenging your balance. So standard squat, shoulder width, something comfortable. You're gonna imagine like you're sitting back into a chair. So lengthening your spine, reaching your hips back, bending your knees, and then exhale to come up. You're always gonna inhale as you lower your body, and you're always gonna exhale as you lift. Any weight, and in this case, the weight is your body. So exhale, pull the abs in, and come up to vertical tall spine. My tips for the squat, again, aside from the knees, is what's going on with your spine. I'm gonna show you from the side. So if you're facing side, you could look at yourself in a mirror and watch your positioning if that helps you when you're first learning. But same thing, sitting back, like you're sitting back into a chair, and watching that your spine is neutral. So that means I'm not doing hyper extension and I'm not doing excessive flexion. I'm just trying to be right in between. You have natural curves to your spine, so you want to maintain those, but nothing excessive forward or backwards of that. And then just as many reps as you can do, maintaining good form, breathing in on the way down, exhale on the way up, targeting all the major muscle groups of the lower body.